So let's talk about notes during interviews. In the past month, I interviewed about a dozen people for senior strategist positions. These individuals had four to 25 years of experience in marketing. And at the same time, I also did practice interviews with our specialists who are paid interns who are pretty much mostly in college, anywhere from sophomores to recent grads. One of these groups pretty much exclusively all brought notes to their interviews. The other group was scared of notes. If you guessed that the interns brought notes and that the experienced people didn't because they didn't need to, you'd be wrong. It's the opposite. Interns were scared of notes because they thought it would lead people to think that they were imposters, whereas all the senior strategists with decades of experience knew that notes was a good thing. And that's true. Bringing notes to an interview doesn't mean that you're not prepared or that you can't do the job. It means the opposite. It means that not only did you think ahead about what questions might be asked, but that you probably have too much experience to remember every single case study or piece from your portfolio off the top of your head. There's nothing wrong with just in an interview being like, hey, let me pull up my notes. Let me make sure I have the right answer to that question. It's good to interviewers. So if you're doing any virtual interviews, take some time, look up the most common interview questions and write up your answers to it in bullet points. You're going to do a whole lot better on the interviews, I promise.